In today's video, we can talk about nucleotides and semi-conservative replication. Nucleotides are the monomers of nucleic acids. You have two types of nucleic acid. DNA is deoxyribonucleic acid and RNA is ribonucleic acid. Now I'm going to talk about what goes into a nucleotide. You have a phosphate group, you have a pentose sugar such as deoxyribose and you have an organic or nitrogenous base. covalent bonds form to link them together and this makes one whole nucleotide. There are five different types of organic base. You have thymine, adenine, cytosine, guanine and uracil. Uracil is only found in RNA, thymine is only found in DNA, adenine, cytosine and guanine are found in both. So I'm going to quickly draw out some nucleotides and show you how they connect to form the backbone of the DNA. I'm going to label them A, T and C for adenine, thymine and cytosine just to show you the different types of nucleotides you could have in a molecule of DNA. And I'm going to put D's in the pento sugars to show you that this is in fact DNA, not RNA as the sugar is deoxyribose. Also quickly, I'll show you an RNA nucleotide uracil looks like. We're going to talk about the base pairing rules. A and T go together and G and C go together. Between these organic bases are hydrogen bonds. In RNA, U replaces T, so A goes with U. So as you can see here, I've matched up some of my organic bases. I'm now going to draw the hydrogen bonds between them. G and C form three hydrogen bonds. A and T form two. I'm now going to talk about semi-conservative replication. So I'm just filling in the covalent bonds that connect each nucleotide together to form the backbone of the DNA. I'm going to draw my hydrogen bonds between my nucleotides. Remember, G and C make three, A and T make two. The phosphate and the pento sugar make up the backbone, and the hydrogen bonds form up the lines in the middle. Now, to replicate the DNA, the DNA strands are unzipped. The hydrogen bonds connecting the bases are broken. This pulls apart the DNA strands, exposing all the bases. Now, three DNA nucleotides that are just wafting around come and connect to the exposed bases, forming new hydrogen bonds. So as you have one original strand and one new strand, this is called semi-conservative replication. With the other unzipped half of the original DNA, the exact same thing happens, I just didn't do a diagram for it. So therefore you have two new molecules of DNA, even though half of each molecule is still one strand of the original DNA and one is brand new DNA. 